welcome to our channel so today we are going to look after the problems on decision tree analysis so let us analyze the problem and make sure how to solve decision tree diagram company x has two option to sell its products it can set up a showroom in a city or sell from its factory outlet so question says it has two options one is they can set up a showroom or it can be a factory outlet setting up a showroom will cost rupees 7 lakh okay so this 7 lakh is none other than the original investment which has been utilized for setting up a showroom if the showroom succeeds okay if it is a success then it can get a net profit of rupees 15 lakh per year with a probability of 60 percent okay so 60 percent is written as 0 0.6 if it fails it can close a showroom or rent it out for an annual rent of rupees 3,50,000. So they are telling if this fails down, so you can go for renting it down. Okay. So which is at a rate of 3,50. The probability of getting rent is 80%. If you give to a rent, it is at a rate of or a probability of 80%. If it sells from the factory outlet, so this is the second part people. If it sells from the factory outlet, it has to incur rupees 75,000 as renovation charges. Okay. So till year, that is from company X has two options. So you can look after something related to option one. So from year, this is related to option two. So they have told they have to incur rupees 75,000 as renovation charges, which is the original investment. The chance of successful selling here is 45% which is written as 0.45 with a net profit of rupees 4,75,000 per year. Okay. So look here, they have given two options. The first option is setting up a showroom with the original investment of 7 lakh. So original investment or an initial investment. If the showroom succeeds, the net profit is 15 lakh per year with a probability of 60%. If it fails, it can close the showroom or rent it out for an annual rent of rupees 3,50,000. Okay. The probability of getting rent is 80%. So till here we can get an option for option A. Further if you look for, so this is an information for option B. If it sells from the factory outlet, so there was a renovation charges which was being incurred as 75,000. What is the chance of successful selling which is 45%. So 45 by 100 will get you 0.45 so with a net profit of 4,75,000 per year if failure then shut down they are telling okay so what will be the advice to the company how a decision tree will help the company so now we will look for a solution and we will draw a decision tree diagram so coming for the diagram of decision tree so we will go ahead with we have to take a decision. So as the question says, very simple. You have two options. Option one is we consider that as A1. We consider this as A2. So for our understanding, we will write this is for showroom at a cost of 7 lakh rupees. The second option was some way related to factory outlet. Factory outlet. So it was also told renovation charges at a rate of rupees 75,000. Okay. So further we will first go ahead with option A that is showroom. So they told if it is a success, how much? Then if it is a failure, we should identify. So question says if it is a success, it is at 60% which is 0.6 at an amount of 15 lakh. We consider this as E1. Coming to E2. So 
so in the question they have just told it is a failure people see if success is 60% out of 100 if 60% is success 40% is failure so 0.4 is the failure now the doubt is what is the amount we get here as the doubt okay so that needs to be find out which is not given in the question directly so if this gets failure you have another two options which can be seen that is you can rent it down was the question okay you can rent it down so you think we will rent it and if that is a success at a value of 80% and the value is 3 lakh 3 lakh 50000 how much 3 lakh 50000 so once again it was being told if it is a failure then the entire thing would be shut down if it is a failure then the entire thing would be shut down so what is the amount we have to write here is once again not given directly be careful see here the original investment was 7 lakh if the whole business is a entire failure that means the whole investment whatever i have given sir that complete part is to be considered as shut down or an failure so which is written as minus 7 lakh be careful so why sir we are taking minus very simple it is shutting down its business and once again the whole original investment whatever we have it's been called as complete failure so that is why this is been termed as something called minus 7 lakh and why 0.2 out of 100 so 80% is rented out or term to be called success obviously remaining 20% is failure so this we consider as e3 this we consider as e4 okay the only doubt is what is the amount we get here for failure okay so that needs to be found so once after this decision tree diagram we will do that coming to the second option so second option is very simple which is given directly so what is that they have given so there was a renovation charges in the factory outlet of rupees 75000 if that becomes a success which is at a 45% that is 0.45 okay what is the value the value is 4 lakh 75000 okay so we will look after what is the failure so either failure or it is told shut down okay at what percent 0.55 okay so once again the same rule applies in option a if you look after if it is a failure or a shutdown that means the original investment money whatever we have that complete money is termed to be called failure which was written in minus in the same way rupees 75000 was the renovation charges which was been considered so if it is a entire failure that 75000 is a loss so that is why we will write as minus 75000 okay so this we consider it as e5 this we consider it as e6 okay so now we are done with the diagram the only thing which we are supposed to do is what is the amount of this particular value which is there in failure okay so diagram is done so we will calculate the value of total payoff here itself so that you will get to know what is the value which comes here okay how to calculate the payoff look here so first we will calculate the payoff for e1 e2 e3 e4 for he one how you will calculate you will calculate 15 lakh into 0.6 e2 we doesn't know the value we have to wait for e3 we will calculate 3 lakh 50 into 0.8 for e4 we will calculate minus 7 lakh into 0.2 based on the calculation of e3 and e4 you will get to know the value of e2 listen properly based on the calculation of e3 and e4 you will get the value for e2 okay so how that is done is so have a look here e3 is equal to 3 lakh 50000 into 0.8 so this is called total payoff okay so
so if you want we will write as payoff calculation for e3 and e4 e4 is be careful which is minus 7 lakh into 0 0.2 how much we will get 3 lakh 15 to 0 0.8 we will get 2 lakh 80 thousand minus 7 lakh into 0 0.2 you will get minus 1 lakh 40 thousand minus 1 lakh 40 thousand okay so if you subtract you will get 1 lakh 40 so usually we would have added as there is a negative symbol we are subtracting what is the value we got we got 1 lakh 40 so this 1 lakh 40 so this 1 lakh 40 whatever we have got so that would be written here in term of failure which is 1 lakh 40 thousand See, this value was not given directly. This is calculated depending upon the payoff value of E3 and E4. Okay. So, coming to this in a same way, now we will calculate the payoff for E1, E2 and we will calculate expected monetary value. In the same way, we will calculate payoff for E5, E6 and calculate what would be the expected monetary value for A2. Okay. So coming to the calculation of payoff, payoff for E1, how to calculate 15 lakhs, 15 lakhs into 0 0.6 and for E2, 1,40,000 into 0 0.4 how much you will get you will get 9 lakhs and here you will get 56,000 if we add both we will get 9,56,000 so we got to know what is the total payoff for option A1 so let us calculate the expected monetary value for this for a1 which is the formula i think you would be knowing by this time which is total payoff minus original investment or initial investment the value is 956000 minus 7 lakh which is equal to rupees 2,56,000. So let us look which is good compared to E2. So then we have to calculate payoff for E5 and E6. How to calculate for E5? We have 4,75,000 into 0 0.45 which is 45% here it is entire loss that is by minus 75,000 into 0 0.55 so you will get 2,13,750 and minus 75,000 into 0 0.55 we get as it is a minus we will get minus 41,250 minus 41,250. So if we subtract, we will get 1,72,500. 1,72,500. So this is the total payoff value. Okay. So in the same way, calculate emb for a2 so formula is same total payoff minus original investment so 1,72,500 minus minus 75,000 how much we will get we will get 97,500 rupees we will get 97,500 so now compare between A1 and A2. 
See A1 has value 256,000. So A2 is the balance of 97,500. So compared to both, so which one is the best? So A1 is the best. So whichever has more value as both are positive, whichever is more. So that is the amount of profit what can be considered. So that is why A1 is greater. So what they should go? So they should go for selection of showroom. You should go for showroom. Okay. So thank you. Have a nice day. We'll look after in the next class.